Oh, I know, y'all are asking. What is that pool gardener up to now? Well, you see, there is a certain vegetable crop that I am growing. And it has required me to take a nice sharp pair of scissors. Cut, cut, cut. Pretty much. Yeah. The bottom out of a flower pot. Hopefully y'all can see that. Because this crop that I'm making these new useful tool out of recycled flower pots which I apparently have many to insert or cover however you want to word it over top of this particular vegetable crop to cause an effect that out in the farmer's field he basically would do the same thing by hilling dirt up around this crop so come join me so I can share with you the crop how this will be used and its purpose so come join after I gather these three up we'll take you along okay my gardening friends and peeps hope you're growing on here's the crop Has anyone guessed what it is yet? Got it yet? Well, now we're into the shade. But hopefully you can see that crop. This is my golden self-blanching celery. And like I was explaining the farmer in the fields they go along and they push dirt up around the celery to blanch them to make the stalks tender and juicy and less bitter so hopefully I can show you with one hand how this is installed get this onion out of the way basically what you're trying to do is bunch your celery up like that it will continue to grow up and tall by gently pushing this over your celery And reaching in there pulling as many of those leaves up and out let me switch hands here let's take a look down in there if we can and this will cause the same dark environment as if the soil was pushed up and around that celery crop and you will blanch your celery yeah I think that looks good don't you 
I do only have a concern is that as the sun hits these pots that they don't get too hot but I'm pretty sure there is enough air that will enter from around the bottom of the pot and flow up out and around the celery so it looks like I've got one two three four five six and I may leave one undone to see if it truly is self-blanching and if this idea is the better alternative all right thanks for watching gardening friends and peeps and keep growing on oh forgot one last tip celery originally is a marsh plant so it likes lots of water so be sure to water your celery plot every day at least an inch of water if you can all right keep growing on later